Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another installment of the Weekly Wednesday Ramblings. First, let me just get something out of the way that I will not be doing Steven's Challenge anytime soon, because I know if I leave myself up to just sort of saying random stuff out of my head without scripting, I won't touch on the stuff that I actually want to talk about, which is sort of important, actually, like, keep lists over the week of things that I might talk about, and if I don't follow that, I'm not going to actually talk about any of it, and these will lose their purpose. So the only time I'm going to be doing Steven's challenge is when literally nothing happens, and I can just leave myself to ramble freely without any editing or scripting. So there, there's that. So a bit of a first little interesting thing that happened this week. It, I'm sort of clearing off my desk because I'm going to move my laptop and show you a different angle. I completed my wall decorations this week. My the poster that I ordered about a month ago finally came in. I'm going to rotate my laptop and let you see my wall. We have we have our good old Zelda posters there and there. And this is a Bioshock poster that I uh, pulled out of a strategy guide at home before I left for school. And this bad boy is what I ordered. Oh, let me position my finger. This is really hard to do when I'm at a weird angle, I guess. This is a poster that I ordered about a month ago from the Irrational Gaming site. It is, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it's from Bioshock Infinite. They would put it on blackboards, or I think it was just on like one blackboard uh, mid-end mid -end of game of the design specs of Songbird. So I have that. My wall is now complete. Duct tape, frisbee some origami on the side, my clock. That's my wall. The past couple days have been a fun couple of days for anyone who enjoys Kingdom Hearts. We had the announcement trailer for Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD, which contains the HD remixes of both Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix and Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. If you're not aware, uh, Square originally re they released the like they released the game in Japan. Then they released the game in America. Then they re-released the game in Japan with additional content and then don't send it to America. It's a bit of a sore spot, but the HD remixes have been bringing the versions that they would release in Japan with the bonus content. They've been bringing those to America so we can now get like the full story as opposed to uh, random fragments of it that don't make a ton of sense. Granted, with Dream Drop Distance, all ideas of the plot making sense were thrown out the window because we got time travel and stuff happening in dreams at the same time. So nothing made sense at all. And then on Monday night, we had a new gameplay trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3, which looks really cool. We get to fight the Rock Titan again, which we haven't been able to do since the first game. I'm hoping the Ice Titan is back as well because he was the easiest EXP farm like ever. You just stand there and deflect his shots and get EXP for it. That was in the first game. It wasn't in the second game, it was in the first game. I'm not sure if I said that already. So. Bug trying to get into my thing. I'm gonna, my room, I'm gonna pull blinds closed so no bugs can get in. You may notice it's a bit darker in my room than it usually is when I film. Uh, that's because I'm uh, filming this at night currently. It's past sunset. Just past sunset actually. Uh, there's still a bit of a glow outside, it's kind of nice. but. That's because I didn't have any time today because I had a uh, CS midterm that I was... Pretty much everyone was freaking out about. If I haven't mentioned it before, the CS professor I have is notoriously difficult. Like, notor like that's his... The, he's the difficult CS professor. So, yeah, his midterms... His midterm was in class today. We had 50 minutes to do six problems. One of which was a bonus extra credit problem. Like the ones that I mentioned last week. Yes, ah, I'm bringing it all together. I remember talking about that. The bonus questions. I'll get to that in a second. But yeah, it was six problems, 17 points. So it's not actually... It's a pretty inexpensive midterm. But it was hard. It was very hard. Like, I don't think anyone who took that test would disagree that it was a very difficult one. Basically, the test wouldn't be that bad if we had more time to think about things. But as it stands, it sort of turns into a speed test because we only have 50 minutes to do the problems. <sighs> yeah, but the bonus question. The bonus question was not something that I think I got right. I think I know someone who got it right, but it was, suppose you were standing on land. You can see the Pacific Ocean it, at night. The sun is down 
there is a new moon, there's no artificial sources of light, or something like that, there's no other sources of light, and yet it's bright enough for you to read. Where are you? Now, my response uh, was is probably not right, but I think is nice and thought-provoking, because it almost satisfies all the, uh, all the uh, qualifications for the problem. I put you're on the moon, so it's night. You're on the moon, you can see the Pacific Ocean. So the sun is beyond your horizon, because it's night, and because it's a new moon, that means the sun is not reflecting off of the moon onto, onto the part that's night. I don't know. It was a weird problem. I'm pretty sure the answer was Alaska, because of the, aur uh, the Aurora Borealis. The Aurora Borealis, which I honestly don't know if that would be bright enough to read by. That's what uh, a friend of mine put. That's what a few other people have been saying, but I really don't know if that's the answer. It seems almost too obvious to be correct. But yeah, after the midterm, we got cookies. I had like four cookies because my old roommate was there handing out cookies. It was great. There was lots of cookies, chocolate chip cookies. Made it worth it. Totally worth it. So on to the question of the week. Um, the question was, what band would you like to have play at your next birthday party slash wedding, whatever. Um, and if you know me, you know, my, honestly, my options for that are sort of limited, but I'm just going to come out and say that I think it's a good time for a Black Mages reunion concert. If only just to meet Nobuo Uematsu at a setting that I'm not like, oh, you're way down the row guarded by people at this concert. But yeah, that's my answer. I think Final, Metal Final Fantasy remixes would be, would be taken well at a party. Especially with my friends. So, some of you may know, some of you may not know that um, my grandfather's in the hospital right now. He's been in there for a little over two weeks. Um, I, I don't know, he's, he's hanging in there for now. But if you could keep him in your thoughts and prayers, that'd be much appreciated. Um, that is all for me this week, I believe. Ah, the door is about to open. I gotta go. Goodbye, everybody. See you next week.